They found a dirty creature on the side of the road, but once it was washed, they were surprised to see what it was. There are lots of creatures that live in Australia which, as people often like to joke, would rather kill you than hug you. However, there are some animals in the country that really are quite cute and don't want to harm you. But one woman, a farmer called Janelle, never expected to find one of these creatures covered in mud on her property. The farmer had started her day off as normal. She had a lot of work to do that day as the rainy season had arrived, and there had been torrential downpours for days on end. Janelle knew that she would have to check her crops to see if they had survived the flooding or whether they had all been washed out. As the farmer was trekking along her property, though, she came across something very strange. In a thick puddle of muddy clay, an animal was lying down, seemingly not moving. The farmer couldn't quite make out what kind of creature it was, though, as it was so covered in mud that no discernible features could be made out. It was small, though, so the farmer knew that it was likely something harmless and that it wouldn't hurt her should she try to get closer to it. At first, the woman thought that the animal was dead, as something had clearly happened to it during the night. But as Janelle got closer to the creature, she realized that it was actually still alive. Seeing that it was still alive, Janelle quickly called the Wildlife Rescue South Coast, otherwise known as WRC, to see if they could come and help the poor animal out. The organization sent one of their volunteers, a man called Gavin Swan, who arrived at the scene as quickly as he could. After he dug the injured creature out of the mud, Gavin was heartbroken to discover that it was a female wombat and that she was barely alive. Sadly, the most humane thing to do for the wombat was to put her to sleep, as she was so injured that there was no way she would be able to make a full recovery and live a normal life again. It turned out that the previous night, the wombat had been swept off her path home by the torrential rains. Somehow, she had ended up near a horse. However, the animal's bad luck continued, as she was accidentally kicked in the head by the horse. This injury left the poor marsupial suffering from severe head trauma. Despite her wound, the wombat was able to make it back to her burrow, which was situated on the side of a dam. But due to the torrential rain, the ground around the animal's home had been turned into a soggy clay soup. After trying multiple times to get into her home, the injured animal eventually gave up due to how exhausted she was and simply laid down in the mud. After euthanizing the wombat, Gavin was able to identify that it was actually a female. Upon discovering this, the volunteer decided to check the animal's pouch just in case there was a baby hiding in there. While doing this, though, the man did not hold out much hope, as if the adult wombat wasn't able to survive the rains, then it was unlikely that a joey would be found. It was very doubtful that a baby would be found, but once he checked inside the pouch, he was shocked to see what was in there. There was indeed a baby wombat in the mama's pouch, but the most amazing thing was that it was still alive. Gavin quickly got the mud-covered animal out of her mother's pouch and washed her off as best as he could. After doing that, the volunteer was surprised to see that it was a baby female wombat. Once he made sure that there were no obvious injuries or wounds on the baby, Gavin wrapped her up in a small blanket and decided to give her the name Mudsy, due to how much mud she was covered in when he found her. Once back at the shelter, Mudsy was given a full health check, where it was discovered that she weighed only 3 pounds, 1.5 kilograms. The young wombat was then given to Lynn Auburn, the wombat coordinator for the International Fund for Animal Welfare. Lynn loves wombats and often rescues, raises, rehabilitates, and releases injured and orphaned wombats under a license issued by New South Wales Parks and Wildlife. Lynn owns and runs the Wisdom Wombat Refuge, which is located on her property in Kangaroo Valley, New South Wales. It was here that Mudsy found her new home. The young wombat spent 18 months in her new home, and she loved every minute of it. The animal quickly settled into her new environment and even made some new friends, other young wombats who had also lost their mothers to various sad events. The two wombats that Mudsy made friends with were two females called Tilly and Rosie. She would often be found playing with the two as she seemed to enjoy spending her time with them. As time went by and Mudsy began to grow, she quickly grew into a beautiful pale grey adolescent wombat.
Along with her appearance, the young animal's personality also grew with her. She became much more cheeky and loved to try and steal any food she could. Additionally, Mudsy also loved to climb anything she could get her little paws on. All of the employees and volunteers, Lynn included, quickly began to fall in love with the young wombat. Despite the animal's sad start in life, she was full of love and incredibly affectionate, playful, and happy. It wasn't long before Mudsy was finally deemed ready to be released. She had reached a healthy weight of 52 pounds, 24 kilograms, and had learned all the necessary skills she would need to survive on her own in the wild. The animal was released onto some private property which had a soft release system. This is when a new burrow or natural living place is supplied for the rehabilitated animal so that they have somewhere to live while they get used to their new environment and habitat. It also allowed the animal to build up a geographic memory of her new territory so that she didn't get lost in her new home. Furthermore, it allowed Mudsy to leave her scat around her home so that the other local wombats could get used to her. Once she was fully comfortable, she would be able to go off and dig her own burrow to her liking. Being in a soft release area, the owners and carers of the property where the wombats are released often look after and watch over the progress of any wombats that are left on the property. This means that while they try not to interfere with the wombats to let them get used to living by themselves, should the animals find the wild too stressful or if they get injured, the volunteers can intervene and take them back to the shelter to live a happier life. Thankfully, in Mudsy's case, the wombat seemed to get on with her new home quite quickly. She was happy to wander around her new environment and get used to all the new sights and sounds that she was discovering. Eventually, she became so accustomed to her new home that she was finally able to be released fully into the wild. Once she was gone, Lynn hoped that the wombat would stay local to the area and perhaps even one day find a mate and have a baby of her own. Although, hopefully this time she would be able to look after her own baby instead of having it taken in by a shelter. It's thanks to amazing people like Gavin, Lynn, and all the other volunteers that these incredible animals are given a second chance at life. Despite her tragic start in life, Mudsy was able to make a new life for herself that she was incredibly happy with. This past May, Australian cattle farmers David and Julie Ingram helped their cows give birth but what they couldn't have foreseen was that they encountered a crisis during the calving process. The farm in East Gippsland is very successful, it is very famous in the neighborhood, people appreciate the beautiful appearance and extraordinary intelligence of the animals, the main feature of the farm is that there are many animals living here. David and Julie are very fond of these animals and are dedicated to raising and caring for them. And the couple are well versed in cattle, in fact, they are local experts on neighboring farms. The couple would help cows give birth and in East Gippsland they were often called out to help other animals give birth, the year went very well, with animals all over the region giving birth successfully. David and Julie are particularly lucky, having successfully welcomed eight new babies on their farm. So in the following year, when David found out that his purebred Hereford was pregnant, David and Julie set to work preparing the pregnant cow, monitoring her closely and taking extra care to make sure she is comfortable and healthy, all the cattle cohabitate in the main barn on the farm where generations of cows have lived. Some animals thrive in the company of others, including the cow, and at first the couple let the pregnant cow bond with her friend, but after a few days Julie noticed that her behavior was more sluggish than usual, she eats less and seems unwell. So this cow moved out and there's not a lot of restraint here so that there's some privacy and peace while she's giving birth but there's a smaller barn close to the place and in fact his farmhouse technically saying it was probably just a shed or a paddock, after David set up the place as a small sanctuary for his cows, one would never know there was any other small home here besides a barn. Once the door is opened, the new tenant can stretch out or curl up according to her needs, there is plenty of room. She was given plenty of fresh water and food, and seemed to be doing well under the care of David and Julia, so a few months later, her labor process was off to a good start. Later the cow started eating a lot of food each day and since she moved to the smaller barn she has put on a lot of weight and if the couple were new to this they might have had a problem with their cow. Luckily, it was David and Julie who, given Julie's size and disposition, immediately suspected that something was causing her appetite and weight gain. 
She had given birth to twins the year before and they lived happily in the large barn. Assuming she's going to give birth to twins again this time around, it wouldn't be a huge deal, but David and Jolie can't wait to have another set of twin calves. Even if the chances are slim, at Ingram Farms in 2018, the couple managed to give birth to 12 animal twins thanks to their years of practice and experience over the next few months farmers have plenty of time to get ready to welcome new calves into their families. This is the cow's second pregnancy, so she seems to be comfortable with the changes in her body getting fatter, and at 8 months, she's about to give birth. David and Julia keep an eye on her and the pregnancy could theoretically last 9 or even 10 months, but David thinks it is wise to start looking for signs of preterm labor a month in advance because if a cow is carrying twins then her delivery is likely to be brought forward. Even if they're not human, twins are often born weeks early. Not long after David and Julie started monitoring the cow closely, they saw the sign they were looking for that she was about to give birth. Hurrying to grab supplies they needed as well as protective equipment they made themselves, the couple gently led the cow out of her small barn and out into the fresh air. The sounds could be heard by neighbors on several farms, and it was a crucial and important time, a long and difficult birth. With the first calf close to being born just hours later, David used his gloved hands to help guide the little animal out while Julie focused on making her mother as comfortable as possible. The couple wept with joy as they saw a healthy calf being held gently in David's hands. He tidied the meadow and sat down to wait for the second calf to be born, and Julie returned a few minutes later, just as David began to wonder aloud if they were wrong about the twins, maybe it was just a difficult pregnancy that made her eat less usual times have increased, and Julie sits next to David and gets himself into trouble with him. Just when they thought their work was done, they were interrupted by the cry of a cow, Another calf-calf seemed ready to come into the world, and David's eyes welled up with tears, while Julia laughed at his sentimentality. David really likes twins, he loves Ingram Farm, which is a farm where twins are often born. He listened to the cubs struggling, and the joyous sounds that came from Ingram's farm now and then. David and Julie returned to their positions. After adjusting for a few minutes, David lowered his head and Julie gently pressed against the cow's head. Two healthy calves, a male and a female, spent the night together. The birth was a success and the mother cow appeared to be fully recovering. Sitting on the grass with a calf each in their arms, David and Julie thought their work was done, but their quiet moment was soon overshadowed by a burst of silence. The noise breaks and the cow pushes her baby away weirdly and they try to get closer to it, Julie thinks she might want to feed them, but the cow is still in her laboring position, considering the labor went so well, so this is very confusing. David put the two cubs aside and went over to check on her, stunned by what he saw. David bent down to look and noticed that the cow hadn't finished giving birth, he yelled to get his wife's attention, then went back to work, when a cow cries and whimpers in pain, hastily putting on his new gloves, Julie sprang into action and tried to comfort her even though she too was in shock. The couple guides their cows through labor, David and Julie cheer that they have triplets, David can't help himself, he continues to yell triplets over and over, he wants to tell all the neighbors, but that's not the most shocking part of the story. Things took another turn, and the cow gave birth again amidst people's shock and joyful exclamation. David and Julie helped deliver four pups on the farm for the first time. It turned out that the cow was pregnant with quadruplets. Quadruplets were born on this farm. David and Julie were so relieved to see the cubs. A cow finally fell into a peaceful sleep after giving birth to her fourth calf. The mother cow is said to have fully recovered, and the family on the farm added four members overnight. It was truly a miracle, one of nature's miracles they will never forget for the rest of their lives. Have you heard any amazing stories? How did you feel about David and Julia's reaction before learning that the cow was carrying quadruplets? Let us know in the comments section below, thanks for watching and see you next time.